Okay, we're walking up to Muriel's, the classical Creole restaurant. It's not as old as some of the restaurants in the area, but it's very popular. The food's supposed to be very good, and it's supposed to be haunted. So we're getting a trifecta here. It should be a fun place to have dinner. So this restaurant is right off Jackson Square. The decor on the wall is a little bit funky. It's got sort of a mosaic style to it. wound up splurging a little bit. The Brunello di Montalcino is one of my favorite Italian wines. It's like a classy version of a Rosso di Montalcino or uh, another type of Tuscan red. It goes really good with beef and standard Italian food. Tonight I'm ordering beef. Okay, David got a crepe with blue cheese and goat cheese and and crawfish. And crawfish. Okay. Typical Creole flavors. Crawfish. I can pass on that. But David wanted to try it, so he's going to. Poor guy. Uh, I, on the other hand, got the shrimp in, uh, with gnocchi in a tomato sauce. Looks good to me. I don't usually like fish and tomato combinations, but I'm going to try it here. That's good. All right. I am going to try the shrimp and gnocchi. This is tasty. It's not your typical Italian style tomato sauce. It's got more of a Creole flavor. Oh, it's got some spice at the back end. I'm noticing that. That's good. And the gnocchi is very soft. Haven't found the shrimp in there yet, but I'm sure it's there. And Louisiana shrimp, you never go wrong. I tried David's crap. It actually was not fishy. Crawfish usually tastes fishy to me, but this had more of a cheese flavor. It was really creamy. I tried my shrimp. Shrimp is very fresh. Uh, it was a nice tasting dish. I will say trying this and thinking about it, I would say this is mostly like a shrimp creole with gnocchi in it. And it was very good. It's spicy. It's got a spicy red sauce. It's got more of a creole flavor than an Italian flavor. It's really a very nice balanced sauce. And the shrimp is fresh and the gnocchi is good. I would definitely get that again. I ordered a beet salad. I was kind of in the mood for a nice salad and I love beets. So the salad has mixed greens, it has beets, and it has pecans. It makes a nice combination. I think it's the kind of thing you only get in New Orleans, but it's really good. The interesting thing about this salad, it has a little ribbon of mayo down at the bottom. And that's what substitutes for the salad dressing. It's very lightly dressed. It's a mostly beef, lettuce, pecans, and onions, and very little dressing. So if you're looking for a light salad, this is a good one. All right, David got the pork chop. I thought about that. That looked really good. But David got it, so I didn't. I got filet, filet mignon, which ought to be good and will go really well with that wine. Okay, this steak is a nice medium rare. I've taken a piece here. It's got a demi-glace sauce that goes with it. 